Hi guys, this is Chris with HPC and I wanted to show you guys something that is over two years in the making. This is our brand new Revolution motor and this is probably the biggest performance breakthrough since uh, we did sine wave controllers. Um, it's exceeded our expectations. Uh, when we went into this project, we wanted to get a motor for the Revolution that was a little more efficient, that can pedal easier with less cogging torque, uh, more power, and our biggest objective was less weight and we were able to do it. So, this motor offers 30% more torque to the tire than the existing motor on the Revolutions that were 2020, uh, from 2016 to 2020. And this motor, literally just plugging in the motor, keeping the controller and the battery the same, you literally will add over 30% more torque and be able to pop wheelies in a lot of the higher power levels. So it's incredible from that aspect. The other thing that was really important that we love about this motor is there's about 50% less cogging torque. So that means that your Revolution is gonna freewheel. It's gonna freewheel a lot better than it did before. It's gonna roll a lot farther. Uh, you'll hit higher speeds just rolling down hills without any throttle or anything like that. Way easier to pedal. Um, it just feels like a normal bike. I had someone that test rode a Revolution here the other day that was like, oh my God, it's like as easy as a normal bike. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, the new motor has barely any cogging torque. So that's an amazing aspect of the new motor. One pound lighter. So at HPC, we're, we're focused on the totality of performance rather than just outright speed or power. Um, a lot of our competition utilize a big honking 38, 40 pound hub motor that they just plant in the back and they're like, look how fast it is. To, to us, we don't really care about that. We care about the overall performance, how it goes around turns, how it, how it jumps, how it accelerates, how it stops, how it feels. We wanna keep the lightweight, nimble feeling, which is completely lost in a lot of the competition that I see in the 120, 150 pound weight range. Revolution is a lightweight bike. The frame itself and the carbon panels only weigh about 13 pounds, so it's only a few pound weight penalty over an existing DH normal bike frame. So it's a lightweight aluminum frame, um, and it starts in the 78 pound range um, stock with the standard battery and with the standard power system. So uh, maxed, if you got every option on the Revolution, we're talking about mm, low 90 pound range, so even maxed out, it's way lighter than anything else in its class. And to us, that lower weight in the motor, this, this motor, let's weigh it right now. So last year's motor weighed over 20 pounds, over a little over 20 and a half pounds. And this year's motor, if all is correct, should be in the 19 pound range. Yeah, so 19 pounds, seven ounces. So that's 19.4 something pounds. So super happy how that came out. Um, you're gonna allow the kinematics of the suspension to work a lot better. It's unsprung weight is substantially less now, the over a pound of savings. So 19 pound motor, over 8,000 watt capability, and this thing just screams. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about is we get a lot of calls like, hey, I have this bike, it's 14,000 watts, like why is yours only 8,000 watts? And like I said before, we're, we're not into, we have a self-imposed weight limit of 20 pounds. We're not gonna put over a 20 pound motor on any of our off-road bikes. It just goes against our ethos. It just does not work well off-road and you're just fighting that unsprung weight. So we had a customer come in one time with a 14,000 watt bike. He strapped it down to our dyno and it actually made less power to the ground than the new brand new 8,000 watt motor that we put on the Revolutions. So that was eye-opening. So a lot of times you'll hear numbers, but maybe in actuality, that's not what you're actually getting. Um, we got the US made battery systems. Um, we're using mostly Sony VTC6 cells and also either LG, LG uh, MJ1 or Sanyo Panasonic 3500GA. The new controller systems are sine wave. We have all new MOSFETs in here. They can run more power. Um, it stays a little bit cooler. Overall for the Revolution, this new Revolution motor is a huge upgrade. Highly recommended and it'll make a tremendous difference even if you have an older Revolution. You do nothing else. You, you can keep your same battery, same controller, and you just plug in the new motor, plug and play, and boom, 30% more torque and just way more fun in my opinion. So, and the benefit of lighter weight. Now we're gonna do a few acceleration runs on the new Revolution motor.
Look at the nonchalant pedaling at super high speeds due to the Schlem high speed drive. And please visit us at www.hpcbikes.com.